Good job, Roberto. Yeah, big ups to Birdie. All right, switching gears. Sac State was one of five California schools to participate in a competition at Sonoma Raceway this past week. The challenge? Designing and manufacturing an energy-efficient vehicle completely from scratch. Sounds crazy. The competition? The Shell Eco Marathon. It's a competition that's been running for the last 12 years, challenging the brightest engineering minds in high schools and colleges throughout eight countries. Sac State's energy efficient vehicle is in its third year. Last year they came close but didn't pass final inspection. This year, the Hornet Racing's the Hornet Racing's team goal was to pass overall inspection and enter the final competition yesterday at Sonoma Raceway. My name is Adrian Calderon. I'm currently a senior at Sac State. My name is Brian De Dios. I'm a senior here at Sacramento State studying mechanical engineering. Especially with family, um, they don't always seem to, to, to realize exactly uh, what is it that I'm doing. They just know that I'm working in my car. Uh, for them, they, they might think that I'm working on an actual car like the one I, that we, we drive every day, um, which is something that we're working towards. I want to come out with more solutions and more innovative ideas to be more efficient. Uh, we started three years ago. This being our third year, uh, we're involved in Shirley Comerton. We literally build a car from ground up, starting with the frame. You have it connected to the... You have to have body panels. You have to have make sure all your electrical components are working, just like your everyday car. Crossing things off the list. If something comes up, you bring it to the group. Bring it to whoever's more knowledgeable or whoever's working on the spot. This one's going to the ground, but we're going to have a common ground when it goes to the fuse box. We're, we're better off in terms of this year going into competition than last year. Last year we had um, a lot of failures. Really, I felt really, it just really put the group down for a bit. Um, personally, I kind of just broke down. Um, that design was very different and very um, overkill. Even then, like, I didn't let that stop me. And coming back this year, we already had an idea and a vision of where we kind of wanted to go. I wanted to have more of a structure. And uh, success would be being able to go out and pass inspection. But not only that, being able to go out, being able to allow the members to grow with us. In the day, we're in very much better um, position than last year. And I think that's the, the beauty of it, that we're always growing and we're gonna continue to grow. Well, those kids are a lot smarter than me. Well, the third time was the charm for Hornet Racing and their Energy Efficient Vehicle Club. You see the vehicle there as a finished product. Oh, so awesome to them. And this week's trip to Sonoma, a successful one. As Sac State's vehicle passed inspection, earning its way into yesterday's competition, where it completed three laps before the vehicle shut down. Now, unfortunately, they were unable to finish the race, but the student called this week a gigantic success and one they can build off for, for the future. As for the top teams advancing, the Shell Eco Marathon Drivers World Championship Grand Final in London comes up in July.